My apologies class, this is the last video for section 10.1. I forgot about example 5 back here. So uh, what we're going to be doing is finding the derivative of a function, not finding the derivative um, at a particular point. So pay attention, slight changes. Let's look at um, a, so find f prime of x if f of x equals x squared. All right, so we write down, we begin <coughs> all of these things by writing down our, our uh, formula, our definition. But since we're not evaluating this at a point, we're not plugging in anything for, um, for x. So we're just going to start by saying f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0. All right, now... What we're going to do is we're going to plug in h pl uh, x plus h everywhere we see x. So we're going to have h, I'm sorry, x plus h squared minus. And then I should have pointed this out in the last um, video. Whenever we subtract, go ahead and put everything, whatever comes after that in parentheses, um, if there are multiple terms that way you remember to distribute the negative so um, alright so we're gonna take this x and put it and replace it with x so it's just gonna be x squared right. all over h so we have the limit as h approaches 0 so now we're gonna have x plus h times x plus h minus x squared all over h. Alright, so now we're going to have x squared plus hx plus hx plus h squared minus x squared all over h. Alright, so I got a positive x squared, a minus x squared, that's zero. And then we're going to have um, two hx's. All right, so let's new slide here. So we have the limit as h approaches zero of two hx's. plus h squared all over h. All right, go ahead and factor out an h up top. So we have h times 2x plus h all over h. Those cancel. So we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. All right, now let's plug in eight, um, 0 for h. Don't plug in 0 for x, so we're going to have 2x plus 0. So that equals 2x. So our f prime of x, so our derivative function, is equal to 2x. Now what's cool about this <coughs> is this function right here will tell us the slope of um, the original graph wherever we want to know it. So this this is the slope formula for this right here. So if if we look if we want to know all right what is the um what is the slope at x equaling 2 we would plug in 2 here so 2 times 2 is 4 so um the uh, the slope at the slope at 2 is 4 if we want to know instantaneous velocity at x equals 8. Alright, we would go to 
this right here. So we plug in 8, 2 times 8 is 16. So that would be the instantaneous velocity. So uh, this is a pretty powerful um, function, that derivative function. Alright, part B. Find dy dx if y equals 1 over x. Alright, so don't be confused with this notation. Um, it means the same thing as finding the derivative of a function. So um, we're going to do the same thing as we did in part A. Alright, so instead of us notating f prime of x, we're just going to replace that with dy over dx and then do everything the same. Alright, we look back. What is our function? Um, our y equals 1 over x. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace um, everywhere we see x here, we're going to replace it with x plus h. So we have 1 over x plus h minus 1 over x. I take x, replace it here all over h. Now we need to find <coughs> a common denominator here up top. Alright, so easiest way to do it is multiply the denominators together. So you're going to get x times x plus h. That'll be your common denominator. Okay, now to go from there to there. Alright, what did we have to do? What did we multiply the denominator by? We multiplied it by x. So you're going to multiply the top by x. So 1 times x is x. Minus. Alright. To go from here to, he to there. What do we multiply the denominator by? x plus h. So multiply 1 times x plus h. And all this is over h. Alright, this now, we have to go to another slide. Alright, so up top, um, well, we got a common denominator, so let's write this as a, a single fraction. And then up top, we have x minus, so distribute this, so you have a negative x minus h. So x minus x is 0, so we're going to have a minus h up top. Okay, and then all of that is divided by h. Alright, now we have, let's write this horizontally, so we have a negative h divided by x times x plus h, and then that's divided by h. <clears throat> we're divided by h over 1. So when we're dividing by, we're dividing fractions, we change the sign from division to multiplication, and then take the reciprocal. So change this to a multiplication sign, so we're going to multiply by 1 over h. So the limit, 
um, as h approaches zero. Now the h's here cancel, so I'm left with a negative one up top, and then you have an x times x plus h on the bottom. All right, so now we can plug in zero for h. Oops, I don't need this. So you're going to have negative 1 over x times x plus 0. So that's going to be negative 1 over x squared. So dy dx, or our derivative function, is going to equal negative 1 over x squared. And now we have finished 10.1.